Welcome to our presentation on Economics Made Easy. In this short video we'll explore what the economy is, how it functions, and the key players and processes that make it work. Let's start by exploring this essential system that shapes our world. The economy is a system that organizes the supply, distribution, and consumption of goods and services. It's powered by a network of households, businesses, governments, and institutions working together to allocate scarce resources effectively. The structure of the economy starts with primary industries that rely on the natural resources of the country such as raw materials, minerals and fishing. Some of these are manufactured, processed and packaged before being distributed to the wholesale, export and retail sectors. Finally, productivity in the economy allows time for work, sports and entertainment. Goods and services are the backbone of the economy. Goods are tangible items like food, cars and electronics, while services are activities like healthcare, transport and education. Four main factors create and drive production in the economy. Land and buildings or natural resources. Labor, or the human effort involved. Capital, including equipment and infrastructure. Entrepreneurship, which brings innovation and risk-taking into the mix. This illustration shows how the economy operates in a circular flow. Households supply labor and consume goods, businesses provide jobs and produce goods, and money circulates through these interactions, connecting all players. Markets are where supply and demand influence economic activities. Markets include product markets for goods and services, labor markets for employment, and financial markets for savings and investments. These markets form the backbone through which economic activity flows efficiently. The demand curve shows the relationship between price and the quantity demanded. It slopes downward, meaning as the price falls, consumers buy more. The interaction of supply and demand acts as a signaling and coordinating mechanism in a market economy so that prices adjust to reflect the relative scarcity or abundance of goods, note the middle quantity where 50 watches are demanded at $550 each. In this illustration of supply for a smart watch, the supply curve slopes upward, indicating that as prices rise, supply increases due to more supply or new suppliers entering the market. The law of supply is reflected in this upward slope, higher prices incentivize greater production and sales, leading to movement along the supply curve. Note that at a market price of $550, the quantity supplied is 50 watches. These graphics illustrate both demand and supply in the retail market for a smartwatch. The demand curve intersects the supply curve at the equilibrium point where 50 watches are demanded and supplied at the $550 price. In a perfectly competitive market, Efficiency occurs when demand equals supply to maximize consumer and producer surplus. This ensures goods are produced at the lowest cost and consumed by those who are prepared to pay the market price, maintaining a balance between supply and demand. Here we illustrate how a discounted price can increase demand. The movement along the demand curve from supply 1 price to supply 2 price shows the price drop. This creates a new level of interaction measured by the darker rectangle where 65 watches are demanded at $500 each. In a perfectly competitive market, efficiency occurs when changes in the supply price increase and so maximize consumer and producer surplus. This ensures goods are produced at the lowest cost and consumed by those who are prepared to pay the market price, maintaining a balance between supply and demand. The money supply is created by the central bank and is essential to the economy. It acts as a medium of exchange for trade and investment and a measure of value for comparing prices. It can also be saved delaying purchasing power over time. Economic growth implies increased supply and consumption over time, fueled by productivity, innovation, investment and trade. This growth suggests that all factors of supply are working efficiently to promote growth in the gross domestic product. Development, on the other hand, emphasizes skills training, raising living standards, and ensuring progress benefits everyone. Governments both national and regional play a vital role in the economy by collecting taxation and redistributing it to the needy and development. They regulate the economy for efficiency and fairness, provide public goods like infrastructure and education, and manage the economy using fiscal and monetary policies. It is also fair to say that there can be too much government or an inefficient public sector. The economy faces challenges like inflation so the central bank increases interest rates. These two lead to a crisis in the cost of living. This can create a recession or stagflation if the stock market falls. The solution is to execute a soft landing before lowering interest rates and increasing government spending on productive investments. In summary, 
the economy is a complex network of production, distribution, and consumption. Its success hinges on the efficient utilization of resources, well-functioning markets, and the essential contributions of households, businesses, and governments. Contact Graham E. Hull at Econographics at gehull at msn.com for further information.